Before sheeting the walls, attach the jam and header trim to the framed openings with pop rivets. Prepare the sheets by pre-drilling holes for the stitch screws and structural screws. Make a template by carefully drilling the holes in one sheet. With this guide, lay out stacks of up to 15 sheets, clamp them, and drill your holes. After drilling, wipe away all the metal shavings to prevent rust. Next, lay out the insulation and cut it into sections as described in the cut list. Finally, attach double-sided tape on the base trim and the eave struts. Start on the back wall so the crew gains experience before moving to more conspicuous parts of the building. Begin at a corner and install a section of insulation with the exposed fiberglass facing the outside of the building. Stretch the section tight over the eave strut and base trim using the double-sided tape and clamp pliers to hold it in place. Now for the most important part. Fiberglass insulation will soak up or wick any moisture it touches. You can prevent this by leaving no exposed fiberglass. After clamping a section, you should have six inches extra insulation at the top and bottom. Trim away the excess fiberglass, but leave the vinyl facing intact. Fold this excess vinyl back over the fiberglass to create a moisture barrier at the edge of your building. With a section of insulation in place, install a wall sheet using the self-drilling fasteners supplied with your building. The longer fasteners with smaller threads connect the panels to the frame. The shorter ones with larger threads are called stitch screws and connect panels to each other. Continue installing the insulation and wall sheeting according to the pattern in your drawings. Use your four-foot level to check each piece of insulation and each wall sheet as you install it, making sure all are plumb. As always, safety is the most important thing, so wear masks and proper attire when installing fiberglass and follow approved procedures for working off the ground.